Okay, Katie, get your shit together. Hey friends, Katie, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. If so, you can subscribe. The button is down below. Per usual, I post beauty and lifestyle type videos, so I'd love for you to be so I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Today's video is very exciting. I feel like I say that a lot, but it truly is. So today's video is going to be the 10 beauty things that I no longer buy. And it's also a collab with Makeup by Lainey, who you guys know I love her channel and I talk about her a decent bit on my channel. I really do love her channel seriously and I'm super excited to be collabing with her today and I've wanted to do this video for a very long time and I thought it would be a great collab to do. Why not? I'm going to be trying to mention at least 10 things. These are the 10 beauty things that I no longer buy. They're not like all makeup. I have some like I guess skincare and some like body hair. I have like just the beauty category type of things. And it's fun because we don't know like what each other are mentioning in our videos. So it's gonna be a surprise for both of us, which I love. So yeah, be sure to check out her channel and I'll also link her video down below so you can watch it when it's live. We'll probably be posting our videos at the same time. So you can like literally watch them back to back. That's so fun. And I feel like I've already rambled on a lot in this intro. So let's just get right into it. Okay. So I have my list literally on my laptop right below me. Okay, so the first thing I no longer buy are liquid lipsticks. I like got into liquid lipstick, I wanna say in the beginning of my channel. I wanna say I got into them like 2015 maybe even, which is when I started my channel, Dog Katie. Like I just feel like 2015, those were, that was the hype. Like everyone loved liquid lipsticks, like the, the, like the Too Faced Melted lipsticks, the Melted, then eventually the Melted Mattes, ColourPop Ultra, ultra whatever they were called liquid lipsticks everyone loved those and i just don't like those anymore i have it for a very long time i just don't like the cement like stuck to your crusty lips kind of look and those always end up looking crusty on me and then eventually three years later or two years later i went on iactine and ever since then after getting off it my lips aren't as, as severely dry as they were then but because of that i feel like i'm not into like those kind of lipsticks I prefer bolt lipsticks or like a lip gloss. I don't really, I never buy liquid lipsticks anymore. I have so many and I've decluttered my liquid lipstick collection to an extent, but I have so many that I just don't use. So that's definitely been something I don't ever buy anymore. I don't even buy like the ultra set ends from ColourPop, which were my favorite li liquid lipstick formula after the after trying just normal lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I don't buy those anymore. I just think they're a waste of money because I won't even like use them up. Like I feel like they just sit there and I just have so many. I forget how many I actually have. I did a makeup inventory recently, which I'll link up, up, up above, but I just think they're a waste of money. I do kind of want to try the Dose of Color ones because I've heard those are actually comfortable, but I'm honestly like, Katie, you don't even like liquid lipsticks. So what's the point of trying another formula? But I've heard that's a really good formula. that's actually creamy and it doesn't feel like super tight on your lips and like cement but I don't really buy liquid lipstick the, the traditional liquid lipsticks anymore just because they aren't comfortable and it's not, just not something I enjoy wearing so why waste money on that and you save so much money doing that number two is makeup wipes I used to buy makeup wipes I probably went through like a hundred packs of makeup wipes over my years from being young and wearing makeup like 15 16 to literally current day I haven't bought makeup wipes in months. I think the last time, probably pre-March. I haven't bought makeup wipes in a very long time. I used like every brand known for makeup wipes over the years. But makeup wipes, first of all, they don't even remove your makeup completely or effectively. They're also really bad for the environment and your skin. So like I just stopped buying those and stuff. I would get, I literally tried every brand of makeup wipes, like I said, like literally, but they're just not good for the environment it's a lot of waste and stuff and they're just not good at removing makeups and they're also very harsh on your skin which is bad I'm more of a cleansing oil type girl now and makeup wipes are just so like 
expensive for what they are like literally just get yourself a cleanse off oil or micellar water to take off your makeup and i know if you wear a lot of makeup like i do then like a micellar water is kind of like like it takes forever to take your makeup off but honestly anything's better than a makeup wipe they're just they produce so much waste and i'm not about that i typically nowadays will just use like an oil and then my makeup eraser and honestly a makeup eraser is a very good investment to save money not use makeup wipes i'm not really the water and using a makeup eraser kind of girl but they're definitely a lot better for your skin than using a makeup wipe so don't buy makeup wipes if you're doing it stop so number three that i don't buy is makeup brushes now i have to get more specific with this and i know a lot of these things are crossovers from other videos i've seen i know jessica braun said um the same thing about makeup brushes that i'm about to say but i don't when i say makeup brushes i mean i don't buy the large packs of makeup brushes anymore like i don't like it's just so wasteful to me like to buy just those huge 30 brush packs. I know ColourPop has them now. Um, Beach Cosmetics was a big one back in the day. Not to say I will never buy makeup brushes ever again, but honestly, I haven't been because I get them in Ipsy every once in a while. And then also, I feel like if I need a certain brush, I will just go out and buy it. Like if I need a foundation brush, which I don't really use foundation brushes anymore, but if I needed one, I would just go to like Target or go to Ulta and pick out that specific brush I need. But to get those 30 piece brush sets, I literally have brush sets in one of my cabinets um and stuff my beauty cabinet i like to call it i have literally probably 20 or 30 brushes in there that just sit in there for decor or purpose purposes which is so dumb but there's a point where i would just keep buying makeup brushes and stuff and i've stopped doing that because i you literally you may think you need like 50 brushes but you truly don't like you need maybe like 10 brushes at the most honestly i don't even use 10 brushes literally all i use is a sponge a like blush brush like a stipple brush i definitely need to do like an updated my everyday brushes video i did one of those i want to say two years ago but i definitely need to do an updated one i use like a setting under my eye brush i use like a like flat tabuki almost looking brush but for your eyes i use like a flat shader a crease brush maybe a highlight brush which sometimes use my setting and my highlight brush for the same purposes and that's pretty much it and stuff for my daily use and that's not that many brushes so i maybe use five brushes on the daily basis or five tools per se but i just think those large brush packs are a waste of money because you literally only end up using a few brushes like you can literally just save money by just buying those few brushes separately it might seem like a better deal to get like a 30 piece brush set but how many br oh, those brushes are you going to use like really if you break it down it's not like that bad to just buy whatever you need and stuff unless you're going to use every single brush then maybe it's worth it but i just for me i'm not buying those anymore and i just don't think they're worth it so number four is liquid eyeshadows i was really into the stila glitter and glows and not to say i'll never buy a liquid eyeshadow ever again because definitely the koki ones i saw they were like sample choice in ipsy in july and i didn't pick it and i kind of regretted it but i also didn't not just those are the only ones i'm intrigued with but liquid eyeshadows in general like the steel liquid glitters that is something i have no longer decided to buy because i just don't use them that frequently i was really in the hype of steel glitters in 2017 i feel like that's when they were really big i think that's when about when they came out and i had like sample sets of them and they eventually dried up and yeah i think they do go bad pretty fast which is why i kind of for how often i use them i don't think they're worth it in 2017 i I was using them a lot but now I find I'm not I have I think five liquid glitters from a couple different brands left and I just find I don't really use them that often I might use them during the holiday season and for special occasions but I don't really have those that often I remember when I was in college I, when I did go out I would like use some of my steel glitters because I really wanted that glam effect because why not? If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go all out. But as of now, I don't think that's worth it. Like, I just don't think liquid eyeshadows are worth it. They're not something I use on a daily basis. Therefore, I will not be buying them anymore. And if I do, it'll just be a certain brand. It'll be once or twice. But I consider that as not buying anymore because I'm really not going to be buying anymore because I just don't use them that often. I find I could just wet my brush, use a shadow, and get almost the same look so i just don't think those are completely worth it anymore and 
and I just don't find that it's like they dry out so fast so it's kind of a waste of money to buy them and I only use them like a couple times a year if you know what I mean so that's why I kind of don't buy those anymore. Number five is eyeliner so I don't wear top eyeliner because I just suck at it and I don't wear liquid eyeliner because I also suck at that and I just don't love eyeliner but I have a couple from Colourpop and I remember back in the day buying some from Rimmel. I think I had one from Maybelline probably at a time but eyeliners is not something I buy anymore because I hardly even wear them and especially I would only wear on my waterline and I, my eyes are so dry and sensitive that I can't really wear them on my waterline anymore. I have a couple that I might break out every once in a while but I find that I will not be buying those anymore because my eyes are just too sensitive and too dry to wear them and stuff so that is something I will not be buying anymore and something I just can't fathom spending money on since my eyes are too sensitive and I like the look of eyeliner but just because of how my eyes are I have to be careful with what I put on them especially like if you're gonna put it on the waterline where it's basically in your eyeball can't do that so number six is also kind of like hypothetical but I put blushes I love blush like the next person don't get me wrong but I found recently I'm just happy with the blushes I have not to say I will never buy a blush ever again but I feel like the extent to excessively buying stuff especially like blushes is not something I do that regularly so I want to say I don't I will no longer buy blushes anymore which I know might seem a little extreme and it kind of is but to the extent I will not be buying blushes anymore like if I see a color like of course I'm gonna go and buy it but I feel like there was a point where I was buying a blush like pretty frequently and I just don't think that's worth it if there's a formula I'm dying to try yeah of course I'll try it but like on the regular buying a blush is just not something I will be doing like I just how many blushes do you honestly need I love blush like I said but I just don't feel like I need to go out and be buying blush all the time and I know every once in a while in like subscription boxes I will get a blush and I will be happy about it but I don't need to like go out and go out of my way and buy a blush. So number seven is mascaras. Now I'm not saying I'm never going to buy mascara again because obviously I am kind of need mascara for my makeup purposes but I am not going to be buying multiples of mascara. I find that I really don't need to do that. Like I have one mascara that I'm obsessed with and that's the Essence Lost Princess. I'm currently using the waterproof version. I've been uh, loving it and I I find that I don't that's one of the things I don't need multiples of. I will have one opened at a time and when I get low I will repurchase but for the most part unless I'm getting like Death and Lash Princess at Ulta and I'm like I sometimes will get two of those just because the Ultas for me are kind of across town and they're just like 20 to 20 they're about 20 minutes away from my house which might, might not seem far but I don't go to an Ulta that much or if I'm ordering online I might get doubles of the Essence but for the most part I just stick to one mascara at a time and I do get mascaras and Ipsy from time to time as well. So I just don't find for me that it's worth it to be buying mascaras all the time and I don't need, that's one of the things I don't need multiples of. So it would be an interesting video idea to be like products where I only have one of. I don't know. I feel like that might be interesting. If you're interested in that, let me know. But mascaras, I definitely don't need multiples of and I don't multiples of them very often and I won't because I just don't find I need like a hundred of those. Next is lip balms and lip balms I just don't love anymore so nowadays I typically use like a lip mask as like my lip treatment or thing I put on before I put on lipstick. I don't really go for like the typical chapstick type things like that's just they don't help my lips at all. They don't like hydrate my lips at all. So lip balms isn't something I personally buy with my own money. I might get them in subscription boxes and I'll try them but lip balms honestly don't really work for my lips. My lips are just too dry for that. Even in the summertime my lips get a little crusty. Not as crusty as they get in the wintertime. They get very crusty in the wintertime but they're definitely still on the drier side. So lip balms is just not something I like to invest my money on. I think they're kind of a waste of money because a lot of lip, ba lip balms are also waxy so they just make your lips drier which sucks so that's not something I like to waste my money or 
put my money into, I guess. Next is lotions. Now I have probably at least 25 of Bath & Body Works lotions right now from minis to full sizes and I'm trying to go through those gradually. They're kind of like my unofficial project pan items. I'm like trying to use them up. I have so many just from gifts and stuff like that. I feel like everyone always gives me a lotion and half of them are unopened so I honestly should start giving them away to my friends because I just have so many and I'm never going to be able to use all of them up. I just feel like oh my god it's going to take forever to use those up. So I definitely should start like giving them as gifts honestly because I have too many. And I don't love the Bath & Work Body Works lotions either. They smell delicious, but like hydration wise, they're not that hydrating. So body lotions are just not something I buy on the regular. I much rather prefer like Eucerin. I'll take my Eucerin and put lavender oil in it. And then I'll put that on my body because it's very hydrating and it helps with my dry skin. But lotions have too many i will never buy a lotion again because i probably won't need to buy a lotion for at least 30 years that's what it feels like honestly so yeah lotions are no go for me then the last thing is face palettes i have i want to say two or three like contour highlight type palettes face palettes for me aren't worth it i'll show you like this i got it marshall's i believe for 5.99 i want to say four years ago maybe three four years ago and stuff and i've used up two of these shades but these face palettes to me i will not no longer be buying because first of all these are the only two shades that really work for me in the palette and honestly this one's pushing it and then this one's just like eh. And unless you're a makeup artist, you don't need like this many shades. So for me, that's kind of a waste to get like bronzer palettes and highlight palettes. I'd much rather have a full size single highlight or bronzer or whatever I want and just use that. I think it's a waste of money unless you're a makeup artist to get something like that. I just find it's not really worth it. The one exception is this Tarte Pro Glow palette that I hardly use. I've used it twice this week though after not using it for a while this i think it is worth it because most of these shades all these shades do work on me which i guess i'm lucky because some people might not be able to use something like that depending on their skin tone but base palettes are something i no longer buy it's just because they take you forever to use up which is a good thing and also a bad thing it's good because then it'll last you a long time but it's also a bad thing because then it'll probably go bad before you're able to use it all up and i just find that face palettes aren't really like i don't really need that many shades in a palette especially for my face like I like it's just not like realistic and I don't need that much like I need one bronzer one highlight and maybe one setting shade like I don't need a full palette I'm talking mostly about face palettes I might get like a mini blush palette like they had the three blushes I was eyeing one for a while um I might get something like that but like a full legit like face palette where it has every shade you could possibly ever need in every single skin skin tone that isn't worth it and I will no longer buy stuff like that. I just don't think it's worth the money and I think it's a waste of money being that I probably won't use every single shade. And yeah so those are all the beauty things that I no longer buy and stuff. I would love to know what beauty things you no longer buy. If you'd like a lifestyle version of this down below like maybe clothes and random stuff let me know down below as well and be sure to check out out uh, Delaney Delaney's video down below. Like I said, it'll be linked down below. I can't wait to watch her video and stuff and be sure to subscribe to her and me if you haven't already. And I failed to mention this in the intro, but she makes pretty similar videos to me like Project Pan videos and beauty videos. So definitely subscribe to her, like I said. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, night, whenever you're watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye.